Oh, good. Why are you having I just have to share with y'all my dream really quick. I don't even know if this is biblical. It wasn't like my regular dreams where I know it's like God and he's answering my questions and stuff like that. I don't even know what this dream was really telling me, to be honest. So, but I said if I have any dreams that I feel up for God, I will post them. And like I said, right now I have no clue what it means. No clue at all. I don't even know if it's like a biblical holy dream. It might just be a dream. But we're going to share it. Because I said if I share it, I'm going to share it. And I'm sharing it also because... Um, sorry, y'all. I literally just woke up. I'm sharing it also because maybe in the future, either I will add on to the dream or it will be revealed to me why the dream was important. Okay. So where does it start? I don't even know where that dream starts to be honest. I don't remember a lot from the dream. The only thing I really remember is that I was somehow the world was ending. <laughs> this makes you think it's supposed to be some biblical crazy stuff. But I don't know. Somehow the world was ending. And I knew the world was ending. And we, I called my family outside. My family went outside the house. Again, the project house. I don't know why we always at the house when I have ended the world dreams. But we are. Uh, I turn around and I see, like, like people sitting in clouds. The clouds are like blue. Like I could see them and I was staring at them and they were staring at us. See what we was about to do. I don't know what happened. I think, oh yeah, I told my family, I was like, that's God. Obviously, if, people, if I see people sitting in the clouds, that ain't no human. They were sitting there just watching like human beings go crazy. But, um, I was like, oh, that's God. And then they were like, what? And I was like, do you see that? And they're like, what are you talking about? They didn't know who I was talking about. They didn't know why I was talking about that. They didn't know what I was talking about. So I was like, do you see them right there? And they thought I was going crazy. They was like, okay. And, um. Uh, I don't know what happened after that. Because I don't know where they went. I just know that I was on my porch. And somehow those people came down. And then there was this big dude, this dude with like this purple robe, and he was dark, like, he, I don't know if he was a human being, to be honest with you. I just know he had a big purple robe, and he had like a stick, kind of like a wizard, but he wasn't a wizard, like he worked for God, but, because I think wizards and witches are like, supposed to be evil in hell or something. That's what he looked like. Like he looked like he was like, you know, the Hobbit, like the older man. No, not the Hobbit. Who am I thinking of? I don't know. But he had like a purple, big, like robe hoodie. I don't know what you call it. That way from his head to his toe. Uh, your hood was on, and he had like a big stick that had like magic or some type of power in it. I don't, it wasn't magic because magic was supposed to be evil but it was some type of power in it. I don't, I don't know what power it was. Damn, it's already at four minutes? Oh girl, I gotta hurry up. Okay. And he went and since I seen him they were like, oh she sees us. So I think that's why they came down to me. And I, I said I don't know where my family went. Somehow my family wasn't there anymore. I don't know. They went back inside because they was like, okay, she's just going crazy and they went back inside. I don't know where they went, but I just know they wasn't there that day. And all and then the people that were sitting in the class were like on my porch. Um, they just like popped on my porch. And then there was this dude who I don't know if that was Jesus or God or I don't know who he was, but he was like I now I know what I think Jesus looks like, and he didn't he didn't look like that. 
he kind of looked like the Jesus that people used to think look like, like with the long hair and the beard and stuff like that, like on, on movies and stuff. He kind of looked like that, but except for being like really, really skinny. That's why I'm like, I don't know if that was Jesus. I don't know if that was God. Uh uh. Well, I know it was a guy because of what he told me. But, anyways, um, so the, the dude in his little stick, he had like his little booklet that he was about to give me a test. I don't know. So they told me to, like, he was about to, like, I don't know, run his stick over me or I don't know what he was about to do. But he was going to test if I can go up with him to heaven because I see them, obviously. And he's like, no one else will see us. Therefore, you're, I don't know, maybe you're not supposed to be down here right now. Um, cause I think the world was ending. Now, like I said, I don't remember how I knew the world was ending. Oh no, my head the horn. Oh no, oh. it wasn't on fire or nothing. I don't. I really don't know how I knew the world was ending, but I knew the world was ending. I don't remember. But um, and then so he did his little test to see if I was good enough to go into heaven, and I failed it. He was like, "You failed," and I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> I was like. I believe in God, like, what? And they started to, like, walk away. A little bit. And I, and the, like, the Jesus God looking dude was just staring at me like this. He was like, mm. And he kind of, like, like, not, why am I licking my eyes? He didn't lick my eyes. He was just like. And then he just kind of stayed behind while they were, like, walking away. And I don't know, I really don't remember who the rest of them were. They were kind of just there, so I don't think they were, like, too important. Maybe they were, like, angels. I don't know. I didn't see them. I just, the main people were, like, the dude and the dude in the purple. Oh, alright. Okay. I literally just woke up, y'all, so forgive me. It's, um, 7 in the morning. And, um... So then I was like, in my head, I was like cussing myself out. I was like, that's why I was staring at me because he was listening to my head. I was like, Safari, how can you be so stupid? Like, they're literally in front of you. What is wrong with you? How can you not connect to God? You're stupid, 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 stupid. What is wrong with you? Blah, 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 blah. And then I, and then I guess my head, like I was talking to myself. So I was like, oh, but I do get closer to him when I pray. That's usually when I feel something when I pray, da, 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 da. And the, so the dude, the Jesus looking, whatever dude, was like, I get closer to God when I pray too. And he was just smiling at me. And I was like, okay. And like everybody stopped when he said that. And then the dude was like, the purple dude was kind of like, ugh. But he didn't say ugh, but he could tell like his demeanor was like, okay. So he's like, we can try this again. But if you fail this time, I'm not trying again. <laughs> And so I got down on my porch in like the praying position, not like with my hands and my knees, but like all the way down. Like you know how like Muslims pray like on like on the mat and they put like their whole body down. I don't know how to explain, but um, and I got down like that and I was like praying to God. I was like, help me, help me. I was trying to feel the Holy Spirit that I usually feel when I pray. I was like, please Lord, please Lord, please Lord come to me come to me come to me and I was just started praying I was like I forget I don't know and then I don't know what I started praying about but I knew like the words just started to hit me and then I was just praying and praying and like I guess they're reading like I don't I, don't, I don't like the little card and he was reading it and he's like scanning the little card I don't know how to explain it like all of my energy my soul and my everything like was being copied onto this like barcode chip card thing so he he scanned it, the barcode chip card thing, and I finally passed. And he was like, "Okay, fine, I guess." And then <laughs> I know that dude was a Jesus or God for sure. <laughs> he just had some type of power. And um, he's like, "Okay, fine." And then the, the dude is—he literally the whole time the dude is just smiling at me. The Jesus looking dude was just smiling at me. I don't know if he was like flirtatiously smiling or if he was just like happy because you know in heaven there's no sorrow or nothing like that. So I don't know if he was just overall just happy because what does he need to be mad about or sad about? So he was just like, yeah, great. That's how he was. He like into my eyes because he's always like, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Uh-huh. That's, that's really how he was looking at me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but, um, I guess he wanted to be my friend. He just acted like he wanted to be my friend. Like, he was being really nice to me while everybody else was just kind of like, okay. But, like, they were tired. Like, they worked. And they were yawed out. But anyway, so, anyways, after I passed, he was smiling at me. And somehow, everybody ended up in this place. I don't know. This is the place that I don't know if it was heaven. It was dark. Um, like it was like nighttime because everybody was going to sleep. That's how I'm like, I don't know what's heaven. Do people sleep in heaven? So I'm like, um. Like he was like, so they're kind of like getting settled in. And it was dark and quiet. Um, like I said, it was like, if it, it felt like a college dorm. To be honest with you. And it felt like it was nighttime, so the lights were off. Like, it wasn't dark, like, quiet hell dark, creepy dark. It was, like, dark, like someone turned the lights off. Like, we were in the building, and people turned, and someone turned the lights off because it was time to go to bed. Like, it was like that. And, um, so the, I got, I got, I don't know who gave, showed me to the room. I don't know what was the nice dude. I don't know who he went. I don't, I really don't know who he was. All I know is I got in my room and it ended up being it was dark in there because it was nighttime. But I ended up um it was like a dorm room. I got in my room and it was like like it was like a regular like it was a little bit bigger than like a regular twin bed you get in a dorm room. And it had like a dresser. I think that was it. <laughs> to be honest, I can't remember too much. I know I had like a bath in there. A uh, room in, I mean a like bathroom in there. And I don't know. I just know I went to sleep. I was confused too. I was like, I don't know. I, in my dream, I didn't even know if it was heaven or not. I was like, I don't know where I'm at. But I ain't on earth. So, okay. And, um. So the next morning I woke up. And I was, I went to the, like, this, like, kitchen area, and there was two other girls there, and they're in the same position as me. They didn't know what they was doing or where they was at, and they were just, like, searching for, I don't know, pots and pans or something. I was even searching for stuff, so I didn't want to be weird. I don't know, so I just went to the refrigerator. I was, like, I was going to give me some cereal or something. I don't know. I was hungry. I don't even know if I was hungry. I was just trying to eat. I don't know, it was the morning. I think I was trying to get breakfast. I really don't know. I like skipping parts because I don't know what happened in between, but this is the parts that I remember. But I know something had to happen. Um, and then, I don't know, I was grabbing stuff, and I just thought to myself, I was like, oh, shit. See, I just woke up, my hands lazy. And I just thought to myself, and I was like, who y'all see? Okay. I just thought to myself and I was like, I wish I had, I forgot what I said. I, I just know I said, I wish I had something and it just popped in my hand. And I was like, what? Okay. And then the girl started to laugh. And there, and then, um, I seen that there's making like some, I don't know, I see some cans or something. And I thought about making me like some of those, like, I didn't even know the name. I said like creamy something noodles with chicken or something like that and like the noodles popped in my hand like poofed in my hand but it wasn't like cooked <laughs> and so I was like oh you can think anything and they and it's gonna and we're gonna get it but we gotta cook it though <laughs> I was like it came like in the can and then like the chicken just came with the package like it poofed in my hand but it I, I still had to cook it it's like it came from like the grocery store. <laughs> I don't know why, y'all. I don't know if this stream is even worth putting on YouTube. But if I said I'm a dreamer, I'm a dreamer, and I'm gonna tell y'all. Um, this one gets a little bit more interesting, but this is where I don't remember it, which is funny because it's the most interesting part, but I don't remember it. Um, I don't know. Somehow, I think I ate or I was eating and walking. I don't. I don't know what I was doing. But I came across 
those people who were sitting on the cloud and they were sitting on the cloud again like it was their job and they're and then so I like I like peeped I was like what they doing what they looking at now so I went like be nosy and they was watching people get their heads chopped off from not trying to take the mark of the beast they were getting their heads chopped off like you know in the rapture not in the rapture in the uh, revelations so they were trying to get the beast and getting the head chopped off and they were telling and then they seen me like like peeping and they were like you can watch um your family go to their judgment or something like that and you can take them to their judgment like where god would tell them to go to heaven or hell and i, and I was like ah uh, uh, my dream ended i don't remember what i told them I think I told them no, honestly, because I don't want to take my family. They go in hell. I don't want to be like, oh, oh. I'd rather, like, if my family member ever goes to hell, if everybody watching this, and God, if you listening to me, I don't, I'd rather just, even if, okay, I think the main reason I didn't want to go is because, I'm going to just be honest. Like, I don't know where my sister went, but I knew my mom and my brother were still on earth. So, hopefully my sister was in heaven. I don't know where my big sister went, but that's where she was at. But my brother, Akim, and my mom were still on earth. So, I knew they were going through all that, like, revelations and... I don't know, Mark of the Beast and stuff. I don't know where the rest of my family went. Um, I knew my mom would be more okay... Not like surviving without food and stuff, because you can't go to the grocery store without the market beef. But I know she was like closer to God and more like around God than my big brother was. My, my big brother, I know he's been having a lot of like disbelief and stuff. He was like right now today, so I was like more scared that he was going to heaven. I was like, I knew I would not be able to like enjoy. Yeah, it's kind of it's not like selfish, but I knew that like. If I seen them going to hell, I would be sad, like, forever. Even if I was in heaven. Like, I, if I knew my family was in hell, and no one took that thought from my brain, I, would, I wouldn't I would even enjoy heaven. I would just, everybody would be like, hi, this is so nice. You want to go, I don't know, skydiving? I'm not skydiving, like, swimming in this pool of gold. And I would be like, no, okay. Like, I would just be sad. Like, I would just be in heaven for no reason. Like, I would just be sad. So, I would rather, like, even in my family, I would be with my family, and like the family member that didn't make it, I rather they like make a hologram and not tell me that it's not my family member, and he gonna be acting like he's my family member. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then we gonna be going places. He's gonna be like safari, and we're gonna like hug. He's gonna be like a fake real person. You know what I'm saying? Even though like if they're in hell, then they're actually like I think they're not, they're in heaven. I would rather be pretend than actually go see that my family member is in hell. I would rather, like, have a pretend figure acting like they're that. Anything is possible, right? Does that make sense? Like, kind of like a robot, but not like a robot because robots can break down and stuff. Like, he wouldn't break down or nothing. It would just be like a fake, like, it would be like a clone. Like, basically, they'll make a clone of my brother or my sister or whoever it was in hell, and they would be like, in heaven with me. That's what I would rather have. I'd rather have a fake family member in heaven and they're actually in hell. I, I, I didn't see them go to hell. To be known they're in hell and never having them again. Anyways, that is the video, y'all. My name is Finally. You guys are a happy family. If you want to know what the happy family is, the link will be down in the description. To join. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this. To join the happy family. <laughs> You gotta press the subscribe button. After you press the subscribe button, you're gonna go right next to it and you're gonna press the notification bell to get notified whenever I post. Stay with God. If I have any updates in this video and if I figure out something else or I remember something else, I will come back and I will tell you guys. But I won't make a separate video, so you gotta check my other videos. And I'm beginning to give an update of this video. Oh, uh, my name is Miley. Stay with God. Stay straight. The world is going to be in it. So the, I bet truly believe the world is going to be in our generation. I don't know if my dream helps I, anybody in any way, but we'll see. Um, I don't know what to call this video. I want to call it Did I Go to Heaven?
I honestly don't know. Because it wasn't like priests and everybody was praising. It was just like a normal... I was in Earth. I know that because they took me from Earth. But I know like it, it literally felt like a college dorm where like, there was like rooms where people were just there. It was like... Maybe it was like an in-between. I don't know what I was waiting for. Maybe they were waiting for me to get fully right with God before I go into his kingdom. That would make more sense. Because like, the other people who were there were in my position. Like They weren't like fully all priest soul and spiritual but they weren't like bad enough to be on earth so I guess that's where we were when we were in betweeners I really don't know but it didn't seem like a permanent place though it just seemed like we were there I don't know anyways that's the video y'all stay with God cause God's coming back real soon bye bye